Okay, today we're in chapter four of Proverbs, still talking about wisdom. But before we jump into wisdom, verse 18 says, the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter to the perfect day. Now, I don't know how it was for you growing up, but for me, when we were little, our parents would always say, don't look directly in the sun, you're gonna go blind. That's true, you shouldn't look in the sun. But of course, it just made us wanna look into the sun. We'd be like, try to sneak a peek into the sun. But you know what? We want to be like the sun that shines ever brighter. We don't want to be like, you know, one day we shine and the next day we're overcast and the next day partly shining, partly overcast, thunder and lightning. You know, we want to be the just person who says they're like the shining sun ever brighter till the perfect day. Okay, so now let's jump right back into wisdom. We're going to go all the way down to verse 20 to 27 and there's a lot of good stuff here a lot okay so hang in there with me and we're just going to bounce through this okay so the first thing it says is it says give attention to my words i feel like this is a repetitive theme that we keep hearing god is saying give attention to my words you want wisdom pay attention okay how do we pay attention why what do we do to pay attention so the first thing he says is incline your ears to my sayings incline your ears that means you're not just walking along and, uh, what did you say? You know, we're inclining our ears. Like, it means we're like leaning over. It's a position of intimacy. You know, sometimes, you know, when a little child talks, if we're up here and they're down here, we miss part of it. But if we lean over, we're like, what did you say? We're inclining our ear, okay? God wants us to incline our ear to him when he speaks. He wants that intimacy with us, okay? What's the next thing? Don't let my words depart from your eyes. Well, I know some of you, you don't let your phone depart from your eyes. And you know what? If you could get wise because of your phone not departing from your eyes, you'd be wiser than Solomon. But you know what? God says, don't let my words, don't let my wisdom depart from your eyes. So he wants his word to be a priority to you. Okay? So first thing, incline your ear. Second thing, your eyes. Don't let it depart from your eyes. Make it a priority. Okay, the third thing, keep it in the midst of your heart. Keep his word in the midst of your heart. That means, again, we have to keep putting his word in our heart. Why? Because it says they are life to all who find them and health to all their flesh. So God is not just trying to be bossy and say, okay, don't let my words get out of your heart. He cares about our heart our life being whole and healthy and life-giving. And he knows if your word stays in his heart, in your heart, his word stays in your heart, it will be life-giving to you. Okay, number four. So third was keep his word in the midst of your heart. The fourth one is says keep your heart with all diligence or guard your heart. Why? Because out of your heart spring the issues of life. So everything that's in our heart is the core of who we are. It's our spirit. And he's saying you have to protect that. First, you have to put my word in it, wisdom in it. And then secondly, you have to protect it. Okay, God really wants to make sure we understand about how we need to protect our heart. Next thing, he starts talking about our mouths. The fifth thing, he says, put away deceitful mouth and perverse lips. Wow, he's really stepping on some toes. Put away those ugly words, those hurtful words, those gossiping words, those slanderous words. Put it away. That is not wisdom. It doesn't bring life. Okay? Sixth thing, he says, our eyes should look straight ahead. Okay? Don't be focused on what other people are doing. Your eyes, you want wisdom? Look straight ahead. And the seventh one, your eyelids should see what's right in front of you. So he's saying, don't just look at way, 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 way down the road but look right in front of you. What is that next step? Okay, so God cares. He's really particular about positioning us. So he's talked about our eyes. Now he's going to talk about our feet. What does he want our feet to do? He said, let your feet, the path of your feet, ponder the path of your feet, okay? And remove your feet from evil. So ponder the path of your feet means think about where you're going. Don't just be wandering here and there and you don't have any purpose. Ponder the path of your feet, okay? And the next one, don't turn to the left or the right. Remove your feet from evil. So three things are there with our feet. Why? Because our feet take us to where we go, all right? Our feet get us 
into a good place or if you get us into a bad place. Don't have one foot in the church and one foot in the bar, one foot in the world, one foot with the Lord. He's saying, don't go to the left or right. And, and if you have, remove your foot from evil. All right. And 12 says, don't be double minded. We see that again in James. He says, don't be like the waves of the sea. They're tossed here and there because you'll never get what you ask for. Okay. First, he's talking about wisdom. If you will act wisdom, ask of God. Then he says, don't be double minded about it. Here we see it again in Proverbs. Don't be double minded. All right. So much detail God has put into us being wise, into us being positioned right where he wants us. So what? We can be wise. We can be on that path of peace. And I am so happy that we have a God who cares so much about every detail of our life. You know, there's a quote that says, you know that you're on the right path when you stop being interested in looking behind you. So going that second mile, we're going forward. While we're going forward, we can't just be focused at looking backwards. We need to make sure we're guarding our heart. We're putting his word in our heart. We're inclining to him. We're listening to him. We're hearing his heart. Our eyes are focused straight ahead. Our feet are not taking us in the wrong path. Amen. We want to be like the shining sun, shining brighter to the perfect day.